The wine harvest is coming to an end and so is wildfire season. Oregon State University's new lab is able to test if and how grapes have been impacted by wildfire smoke. As our Portland station reports, when time is of the essence, winemakers can get a crucial answer in just days. We're doing a lot of high throughput stuff. On the campus of Oregon State University. Number one, it's just a really cool looking lab and this is where like the nerdy side of me kind of comes out. A former storage unit, now a state of the art science lab testing grapes impacted by wildfire smoke. What happened in 2020 was we had a lot of samples basically all through the valley all over Oregon that needed to be tested and we didn't have enough testing facilities. This new wine smoke lab lobbied by the wine industry and partly funded with $2.7 million from the state will give winemakers a quicker return on the testing of their grapes to see how bad the smoke really was for them. The first thing that the, the winemaker needs to know is the information. How much is in there? Second thing the winemaker needs to know is how much their grapes are what is the threshold of impact for them? And that can take a lot of experimentation and it also takes a lot of information. We know that not all smoke is equal. Cole Serrato is an assistant professor at Oregon State's Department of Food Science and Technology. He says his lab can determine the type of smoke and how each different varietal is impacted and then pass that information on to the winemaker. What the winemakers really, really need and what we're able to provide is that information. And the more information these winemakers have year over year, the more predictive power they are going to have in being able to tell if their wine has been smoke impacted. When the grapes are sent into the OSU lab, they're first made into wine. Juice from the smashed up grapes are placed in a jar, and then the process is sped up using a warm water bath. Researchers at OSU then test that wine for the different smoke compounds. Oregon State Professor Elizabeth Tomasino. They are affected differently. And for example, Pinot Noir is quite impacted compared to Cabernet Sauvignon and Petit Verdot in particular is just gross. So we're trying to figure out why, because if we can figure out why, we might be able to recommend different winemaking practices so it's not as much of a problem.